And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, we're now going from Skeletor to M. Bison to represent these videos. And that's why the background's red. What, that wasn't the moment you were all waiting for? Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions on this topic down in the comments section. And don't forget to leave me your vote on what mascot character you would love to see represent these videos in the next segment. Whichever gets the most highest upvotes wins. Okay, and now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, here is all of the latest PS Vita hacks and homebrew news I could find for the month of September. We have some pretty heavy hitters here to talk about, such as the following. Rin is currently working on a PS Vita port of Crazy Taxi, with him giving us a first look here of what they have made so far. He went on to Twitter to say this, first look for Crazy Taxi classic port as well. Take in mind that the audio is still a bit messed up, which don't worry, I have it muted so you don't have to worry about any of that. Feel free to wear your headphones unless you just don't want to hear me talking because, well, nobody should. Now I know what you're thinking, why? Why in the world would we want to play a port of Crazy Taxi when we already have it for the PSP? Well, hey, it's nice to be able to play the game in the Vita's native resolution, so there's that. Plus, I'm just going to assume it's going to have an overall better performance, so look forward to it when it drops. And since M. Bison doesn't believe in taking a taxi, I guess he might not approve of this. Have I ever mentioned to you all just how much I love YGCG? Plot twist, I know, right? Not only were they that awesome user that was giving us that platformer, which had no name, do we ever figure out what the name was? Eh. But also, they're working on a new survival horror game for the PS Vita. And, uh, uh this is what they had to say. PS Vita, dot dot dot. Hashtag PS Vita, hashtag horror, hashtag terror, hashtag indie game. So, yeah, much like their platformer from before, very little is known about this new horror game that they're working on, but I guess we can assume assume that maybe it's first person shooter, I guess? I look forward to seeing more details on it as it becomes available. Also this game looks evil so M. Bison approves. Next up is a new homebrew release called Leap of Faith, given to us by Marcos95. So, true to its name here, you play as some squatty head dude, seems to be a common theme with games like this, who has to make it from one end of the PS Vita screen to the other. Hence why it's called Leap of Faith, because you'll always have some sort of gap obstacle in between to try and block your path, even though it's a gap so it's not really blocking it per se. I'm not really that good at physics. But anyway, it's out now. And M. Bison absolutely hates gaps, so I think you know where this is going. We're still not done with anti-gravity apparently because the next game is called Jetman 3D, developed by Gremlin Software. I just absolutely love the movie version of Gremlins. Sorry, bad joke. So basically here the premise is pretty simple. You play as an astronaut, have to put the three pieces of your ship together all while dodging obstacles along the way. Once you have your ship together, you move on to the next level where you have to put your ship together again. Man, this astronaut sure is clumsy. You're one to talk. Oh, and you also have to collect gas. Well, that's a gas. And oh, for the life of me, I cannot remember where in the heck I have played this game before because I know I played it long time ago back when I was a kid, more than likely in the 80s. But for the life of me, I can't remember what the name was. Or was it the same name that this game is? I don't know. Anyone else who grew up in that era or just likes classic games, please let me know down in the comment section because I am going insane trying to figure it out here. For everybody else, eh, the game is available now. Now let's move on to mobility for the PS Vita, something I know little to nothing about. Hey, you all have seen my sausage fingers during my pickups videos, I ain't thin. This game is also developed by Marcos95. Hey, and going off its name alone, maybe it will help me lose weight. So again, we're going up to space, I think, and you play a repairman who has to fix their ship, the main part of the ship acting like a hub world, and you gotta visit different rooms and repair things by jumping or touching on them. Oh, if life was only so easy. Eh, sounds like a pretty fun platformer to me, though I don't think this game is going to help me lose weight. I've come to that conclusion. So a user by the name of, I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but then again I can't pronounce anything, is working on a new racing game. And according to this individual, it's a crossover between Automata Lista and Most Wanted. And it's gonna be a drifting game. Don't you guys just love saying that word, Automata Lista? Ugh, I could just say it all day. I also would love to eat one if I knew what it was. So anyway, this is probably one of my most highly anticipated games that we're gonna be able to play on the homebrew scene here. And so far, this is a clip of what he's got on it thus yet. M. Bison loves this. Cars go fast, like him. 
RPG fans, it's time to put away those copies of World of Final Fantasy for the time being. Uh, I was trying to segue into something. Oh yeah, and now for the biggest news thus yet to uh, happen to us. Well, actually we've had a lot of stuff happen to us, but one of the most biggest recent things is we now officially have a version of Final Fantasy 3, the Android version port, running natively on our PS Vita. Yes, yes, yes. And if you're a hardcore NES fan, well, you'll be maybe a little bit disappointed to find out this is the 3D version of the game, you know, the remaster, because this is in fact the Android port, but hey, still, we have a Final Fantasy game, another one, to add to our roster, and what could be better than that? What could be better than that? Oh, I'll tell you what could be better than that. How does another Final Fantasy game to add to our roster sound to you? Yeah, I figured you'd have that kind of reaction. M. Bison is extremely happy right now. Because not only do we now have Final Fantasy 3 to play on our Vitas, but we will soon have Final Fantasy 4, again the Android port, to also be able to play on it. Yeah, isn't this crazy? These games are just coming left and right. In fact, I think these games are even coming faster than they were officially back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I mean like a month or two ago. Yeah. It's just crazy how passionate this community is, and I couldn't be loving it any more than I absolutely am right this second. Now, at the time I am making this video, Final Fantasy 3 is already available for you to play on the Vita, and we are still waiting on the upcoming Final Fantasy 4 version to drop for it. If anything changes in between that, because you already know how bad my luck can be in this category, then I will make sure to update the video description below. Whew. Well, I'm all hot and bothered. Oh, uh, we didn't need to know that. Oh, when I say that, I mean uh, we're at the end of the video. <laughs> and Bison approves. So guys, let me know which part of the video excited did you the most? Which games are you going to be playing? Or which have you already been playing? I'd love to know down in the comments section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Larry Anderson, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshrutugal TCG, David Ray, H-Hitter, Aaron Swanson, Adam Thury, Wendy K, Jelle, Heston Joseph, Per Sterner, Lori Sweeney, Kevin Enright, Erock, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, PS Vita S, Joshua Williams, Kyle Brooks, Adam Sondi, Clayton Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Himdal Imbert, Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Dr. Super Artie, Matt Hargit, Jamie, Razelle Pliskin, Romp King, Mozgus, Crazy Cat, Donut Valley, Tasha Monty, Colossus, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Eric DeWitt, Ricardo Martinez, Azumara, Juan M. Hermosillo, 1488 Dental, Birds and Mystery, Saqib Alam, Kayonko, Michael O'Connor, Smug Wolf, Hector Gonzalez, Robert Sylvester, VG Legends, Bushin Ryu Cat, Alan Iwazuk, Milk Sama, Neo Arashi, Shin Snake, Reiko Star, Joseph Raismick, Matt Fox, Frayden, B Mystery, Zecredo, Robert Johnson, Makise Blob, and Zake Blue One. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh, I was just kidding about being all hot and bothered. <laughs> no, I wasn't. This is the PS Vita. Of course I wasn't.